Right now, they are the most sought after item in most communities. Talking about those free N95 masks from the federal government. Joseph Holloway joining us live right now in Durham, where uh, Joseph, I understand one site had opened up and then ran out in just a few minutes. Yeah, that's right, guys. And, you know, first of all, if you're coming here at the noon hour, the good news is if you're trying to get one of these N95s, you're not going to see much of a line right now. But, Bill, as you were saying, a library spokesperson tells us that they gave out 5,000 masks in just 10 minutes right here at its location here at the main library. And also the east, north, and southwest libraries also ran out at one point. But the good news is they didn't have to immediately turn anyone away. You can see the long line of people waiting for N95s outside Durham County's main library. Because I want to protect myself and my family. That's why Tina DeWitt says she didn't mind waiting to grab a bag of masks, especially because she says it has not been easy finding them. It's hard, and even trying to do it online, it, it takes a long time to even get them. So when they, I found out they was free, I'm coming to get them. Pam Watkins came out for the same reason, saying she's been looking everywhere for N95s. I found some that were not certified, so I'm double masking right now. So I just want the opportunity to have some good masks. The wait wasn't nearly as long at the Wills Fun Park testing location, where they're only handing out masks to people who are being tested for COVID-19. A library spokesperson says the health department had several shipments of masks waiting in case a location ran out. That's good news for people braving the chilly temperatures to get their hands on the N95s. It's a nice thing that Durham's doing and, and giving away these masks and got to take advantage of it. And the county says that you can get the N95s at its libraries and also at its OptumServe sites. And we posted those locations in the story over at CBS17.com. For now, we are live in Durham. Joseph Holloway, CBS17 News.